So your ring's going to tell you which side is top. You're going to have that facing up. Put it in the cylinder that it's going in. Get it kind of flushed up. You'll grab your piston. Use it to square it up. Just push it in. Get it good and square. Once that's done, you can grab your filler gauges. I can see there's the gap. It ain't got no kind of gap, so. And this one's going to 14 thousandths. I can already look at it and tell you, but just for giggles, there's a six thousandths. Let's see, let's see if I can get it to register. There we go, six thousandths. I'm sure that's not going to fit. Well, that's what it did, funny enough. We got something a little bigger. Now, the golden one's a 10. That is not going in there. It did after I knocked it this off a little bit. Uh, a lot. So it's, it's smaller than 10. So we're going to cut it. Alright, you got your ring. Put it in your little ring fowler machine. Tighten it down. Cut it on. And cut it. I ain't gonna cut too much off of this one because it was already a little bit of clearing going on in it. And we'll go check it. So one thing I didn't touch on was the fact when you are cutting them, you want to make sure you keep them as square and as flush as possible because you don't want it to be like a certain bit of clearance at the top of the ring and a different clearance at the bottom of the ring because then that's not right <laughs> all right after cutting it you come back over here on your top of the ring again at the top put it back in repeat the previous steps get it in your cylinder Hitting the camera with it. <laughs> Flush it up. There we go. Ten was tight beforehand. So ten should go right in there now. It does. There's our magic number. Alright. Grab your little gap. Take the 14. They got off. Let's square that up again. Because I want to make sure this is right. There we go. Good and square again. A 14 filler gauge. This is kind of saying this was a little worn out, but if you can read that, that's 14. Alright, let's see if she clears. And she does. It feels a little tight. It's good. So hopefully 15. We're not going in there. We did a good job. Got a job. And 15 is too tight to get in there. That is perfect. 14 thousandths of clearance. On to the next ring. Top ring, on the part that says top. It tells you top. You stick it in the block. And you do the same thing with it. As you did the last ring. Square it up with your piston. Stop hitting the camera with the piston, or the rod, I guess I should say. And we need to get this one to 18 thousandths. Well, the six was accessible. I will try to squeeze it in there, which I'm sure it will not go. Yeah, that is no clearance at all. So, back to the ring filer. All right, to catch you up, my battery died on me. I didn't realize I wasn't recording anymore. But to catch you up where I'm at is this has been cut perfectly square but we're at ten thousandths and we're on our way to eighteen thousandths so we need eight more cut off of it and that's what we're doing now
We are perfect still. Let's go check our clearance. Again, find the top. Stick it in the hole. Get your piston. Alright. Square the ring up, flush. It needs to be. Here's our magical number. We'll go ahead and check it. Number 18. It goes in. Oh, it's a little tight. Let's see if 19 will go in. 19 does not fit. We are at 18. I always can cut it again. Don't overcut them. That's what I'm trying to get at. But now time to put it on the piston. All right. When you got file fit rings, after you've cut them, you gotta deburr them. Just take a little file, kind of scratch off any hard edges. You don't really want to remove any more material because you're at the clearance that you want with them. You just don't want sharp edges from where you cut it to be on it anymore. Alright, there's that one. That's your bottom ring. Top ring. Well, unless you want them to be flat and able to move. Alright, so we've got a bottom ring. It's got M top on it. That'll face up. Tool. Pissed on. Spread it out. Put it down. There we go. That's our bottom ring in. Turns around freely. Not binding. On the top. Label. Which side goes up. I don't knock things over. And put your top ring on. There you go. That is how you file fit rings. Alright, back to the build. 